Startling new evidence again of the Food and Drug Administration's failure to protect American consumers from dangerous products. For months now, the FDA has insisted that uh, bisphenol A, it's a chemical found in plastic items, BPA, is safe. Now, a scathing new report reveals that the FDA ignored important, critical evidence of BPA's dangers. Luis Schiavone has our report. At risk, society's most vulnerable. That conclusion from a government commission panel of independent scientists, which finds flaws in the Food and Drug Administration's recommendations on common plastics compound bisphenol A, or BPA, stating, quote, the margins of safety defined by FDA as adequate are, in fact, inadequate. There are some questions uh, as to whether harm might actually be conveyed uh, um, to inference from BPA and that the original concentrations that the FDA felt were safe were an estimate that we felt was not conservative enough. BPA is the chemical that makes plastic food and liquid containers durable and lines food cans to prevent corrosion. This summer, the FDA asserted, quote, the science FDA has reviewed does not justify recommending that anyone discontinue using these products, end quote. But the independent panel found that a number of studies dismissed by the FDA provide substantial reason to be concerned about BPA's potential link to hormone disruption and brain development in infants and youngsters, as well as the incidence of diabetes and heart disease in adults. The FDA has responded, quote, additional research would be valuable, end quote, and they say they're moving forward with it. The American Chemistry Council says the industry will work with the FDA pending the agency's final determination. But why wait? The industry can take steps right now to assuage the concerns of, of consumers and not wait for the FDA, because it seems that the FDA is, is in com complete paralysis right now. Well, BPA is a core building block in close to 7 billion pounds of plastic on the market today. The Centers for Disease Control has found traces of BPA in roughly 93% of Americans that it's tested. Lou? And, the, uh, and other nations have banned BPA uh, at these levels, have they not? That's right. Canada, Europe has been very aggressive, and there are various states that are considering legislation to take this matter into their own hands. Yet the fools at the FDA's uh, top uh, executive levels uh, can't seem to understand what is happening. Again, serving the American people so well. Thank you very much, Luis Giovanni.